Hi, welcome back to Crafty Not Shifty. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I print my photos for my Project Life scrapbooking albums. I'm going to be using the Canon Selfie CP1200 and if you're interested in seeing how to set this printer up and everything that comes in the box, I'll have that towards the end of the video. But right now I'm going to show you how to print. So I've downloaded the, uh, the app and this app is available on the Apple App Store or also for the Android. And you just want to go ahead and select a printer and click on print. It's that simple. It will pull the paper through, I think it's four times in total. So it does go right through the back of the printer and you'll see that in just a second. The first time it comes out it will have all the yellow ink. Then the next time it will add the pink on top and then the blue to complete the colours and a final glossy coating on the top to um, just to protect the surface of your photograph. So when these print out there is a perforated edge and you'll see that in just a second. You want to go ahead and snap each of those edges um, quite forcefully. I was a little bit too delicate on this first one because I was just testing it out but you want to go ahead and sort of bend those backwards and forwards and then just peel them off and they'll come away really nicely and what you're left with is a 4x6 photograph. So that size that's left behind is perfect for your Project Life albums and I'll also show you how you can use the PicFrame app to put two photographs um, on the one page and when you cut those out they're also the right size for the Project Life cards. So this is a portable mini printer, I think this is the smallest um, portable printer that will actually do a full size 4x6 photograph which is why I decided to pick this one. So here's the pick frame app. You want to select the ratio of 3 to 2 in the top right hand corner and then that image where it has two photographs available. So once you're in the app there are some settings, um, some sort of photo editing settings that you can use to enhance your photos. They're probably not the best photo editing settings but that's not really why you're in the app, it's more to get the, um, the ratio of your pictures set up. So you can go ahead and print them. So you want to click on save and then open up your Canon print app, find that same photograph and hit print and it will go ahead and run that through and you'll get a perfect printout of both of those photographs. Now you'll notice as these are printing out there is a white line in between the first picture of my puppy Dexter and the second picture of my puppy Dexter. So if I cut the photographs out they'll be ever so slightly smaller than the standard Project Life cards. That's okay, um, but there is a way that you can remove that white gap so they'll be the perfect size within your albums and I'll show you that just here in just a minute. So that's just running through again, the yellow, the pink, the blue and then the top sort of gloss layer. And these prints are actually really high quality, I'm really impressed. You do need to buy the paper and the ink separate to the printer, which I didn't realise at first. So my unboxing video, you'll notice I've got slightly different coloured nail varnish because I had to film these two videos a couple of days apart because I had to wait for my ink and my paper to arrive. But the ink and the paper, they do come together and you get the right amount of paper per ink cartridge, if that makes sense. Now I'll have links below to where you can get all of this from. So within that pick frame app you want to click on style at the bottom and then you can select the width of that white line and if you take that right down to zero it will remove that white gap and you'll have the perfectly sized uh, pictures for your Project Life album. So now I'm going to take you through exactly what's in the box. As I say be aware that this is the CP1200. There are other versions of this printer available but this is the one that I decided to pick up because I think the price point is just right. And I didn't think there were any additional benefits in the upgraded version that I needed for what I needed this printer for. So there's just some information on the side that explains that this work can work through your Wi-Fi. Um, and there's a little cut out there for the different sizes of photographs. Don't be intimidated by the user manual. I was at first and then I realised the English section is just that tiny section at the front there. So there's not too much to read through. There's also some other information in there regarding the printer and also the warranty, so you'll want to go ahead and keep hold of that. And then this black thing here is the paper holder. So you will have seen when we were printing the paper out, all sorry, printing the photos out, all of the paper is held within this little black holder. Then we'll get to the printer itself. So measurement-wise, it's about 20 centimeters or just under 8 inches. 
by approximately, I think that's about 14 and a half centimeters. So it does come with the plug and I'll go ahead and get that set up and as I show you the different sides of the printer and things you'll see that there's a slot for a cable to connect this up to your um, to your PC there's also a section for an SD card and there's also a section for a battery which is really cool so if you do want to pop this in your handbag and take it with you if you're going somewhere you can actually have a battery and you buy that separately so it's got all of the buttons along the front there, this section here for your cables and then if you take it round to the other side that's where you just slot in the ink cartridge. I didn't catch that on film um, but it's really easy, you just take the ink cartridge out the wrapper and just pop that straight in. It's pretty self-explanatory. This little section at the back here, you can remove this plastic cover and that's where if you choose to buy the additional battery that's where that would sit. But I didn't do that, I'm just going to go ahead and use the um, AC power because I'm going to have this on my desk or under my desk I guess when I'm not using it but when I am using it it will be on my desk rather than on the go. So I'll peel off all this plastic here and I'll just show you really quickly how you click everything together and how that paper section clicks in. So all of the paper when it's inside of here is kept dust free which is really nice and um, I just keep this sort of all closed up with the paper cartridge sat on top when I'm not using it and when I am using it I just take it out and I just sort of angle that paper section in and click it in and it clicks in really nicely and those little runners will take the paper straight through into the back as you saw at the start of the video and as the print comes out the top section here will catch all of your printing and that's just your SD card section there. So that's pretty much it in terms of clicking everything together. I don't have any paper at this point um, to show you the paper or the ink, but I'll go ahead and show you how you connect to the Wi-Fi. So using the menu here, and um, I'll try and zoom in a bit so you can see what's going on. So I'll just go back and I'll show you that again. So you want to click on menu, and then Wi-Fi settings, and then connection settings, and just keep clicking through until you get to search for an access point. This will search for your Wi-Fi um, within range and you just want to scroll down to the one that sort of relates to your Wi-Fi and click on OK. And then it will ask for your password. So to enter your password you'll click on edit and that will bring up the um, keyboard. It will be in all caps at first and then if you click on edit again it will take it through to lowercase and then again it will take you through to your specialist characters. And you just want to use the navigation there to enter your passcode and then click finish and OK. I don't really know why I covered my password up there. Unless you come and sit outside my house, you're not going to get on my Wi-Fi anyway. But there you go. That's how you set up the Canon Selfie. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm really looking forward to um, doing some more Project Life videos and maybe sharing with you how my albums are going throughout 2017. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button. Not on screen right now are some more videos I think you might enjoy. That's all for now. See you again soon.